All right guys, Quantum here, and it just hit midnight April the 16th, so I saw that the Attribute 4 event has dropped in Master Duel, and this is decks only using Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind types, and even within those types, there are still some cards that are banned. So I'm not gonna go over the loner decks right now, I will towards the end, but what I wanna do for this video is basically just talk about some options that you have, uh, a budget option, a little bit more of a uh, meta option if you are willing to invest, and then how you can maybe adapt another deck to be competitive. So let's start off with the budget option, which is always Salaman great, always a great choice whenever it's available to be used in an event because it's a very consistent deck that can perform very well. So if you look at the core of this deck, yeah, it has a bunch of staple cards in it that are ultra rare, but if you take all of these out, you're going to be left with something that you can basically craft the way you want um, after you buy three copies of the structure deck. So the only ultra rare in here comes in the Burning Spirits structure deck. So again, you spend 1500 gems, you buy three copies of the structure deck and you get everything in here minus the parallel exceeds, which are just commons. You can just craft them, but everything else, the core of the deck you get in here. And then of course, if you didn't want to spend ultra rare or super rare points instead of putting in those staple cards like ash blossoms and maxis which you should um you are able to put in like more of the salamangrate cards or even better you can also tech in some math mech cards because math mech addition and subtraction are both fire types and they're cybers so they synergize well with the salamangrate cards which are also fire cybers monsters so you have a couple of ways to build this deck cheaply um, or make it a little bit more meta by adding in the relevant hand traps like Ash, Imperm, and Max C. For the extra deck, pretty much everything in here is also um, from the structure deck. All the link monsters except for Update Jammer, which is a common, again, super easy to craft. But the Sunlight Wolves and the Heat Leos come in the structure deck, as well as the Deco Talker Heat Soul. The only thing that you'll need to craft is the Mirage Dalio, super rare, maybe a Baguska, which... You can make the decision if you want to craft this or not. Um, you may or may not want to do Garus. You may or may not want this thing, Ashura King. Looks kind of cool. Um, it does take three level threes, which you would make with like Spinny, uh, Gazelle, and Foxy, and or Buffalo. So this thing, you know, because you don't have access to Axis Code Talker, this thing can attack three times for 2100 damage if you make it. So it's another potential quick OTK, um, but you don't have to make that. Uh, the only things you actually have to craft, like I said, are probably the Mirage Stalio, the Splash Mage, and the Transcode Talker. Um, you don't need an Appaloosa, I just put it in there as an alternative option, but you can set in any other high level Link monster that you want for like a boss monster because we don't have access code. But honestly, <clears throat> the Salamangrate cards are good enough that you can kind of just play through the game and beat down your opponent. You don't necessarily need an OTK line. So this deck is pretty resilient. Um, it should do very well for this event. So again, just going back to what the deck list looks like that I made at least. Um, mine doesn't even, oh yeah, mine does play Parallel Exceeds. Uh, of course, you have other options. You can tech in going second cards because Evenly Matched is legal in this event. So you can put in three of these for something else if you want as well. If you don't like Parallel Exceeds, for example, uh, Dark Rulers are legal for this event. So you've got a lot of options on how you want to build the deck. Um, but yeah, that's a really good budget option. The next deck I want to go over is Marincest. Marincest is essentially full power, except for the fact that they limited Blue Tang. So that's really unfortunate, because in my opinion, it's like the best starter. But uh, with even with one Blue Tang, uh, you can fish, f finish out the deck with some other cards, um, like going second cards, like evenly matched or something. But you have all the extra deck basically at full power. Uh, you have all the rest of the cards at full power as well. And you can still continue to play your hand traps as well, and you have access to Marincess Wave, which is basically like another powerful version of Impermanence um, when you have a Link 3 or higher Marincess monster on field. And then it gives you the additional effect where your monsters can't be targeted by uh, card effects. Um, yeah, all face-up monsters you control are unaffected by, okay, so just all card effects you're unaffected by, so that's, that's really good. Um, so this is a powerful option as well. Uh, this deck is old though, so I probably wouldn't play Cyclones anymore since Runic isn't around as much. Um, but yeah, you have you have some options with this deck uh, to to flesh it out. I wouldn't recommend playing Parallel Exceeds, even though these are Cybers, just because it kind of conflicts with being summoned to the Blue Slug spot, which means that you can't now summon Sea Angel to it, and it just conflicts a little bit. But you do have some options with this deck. 
Uh, one of the key cards is banned for this event in Kaiser Coliseum. Uh, this is what made this deck very powerful in, I th was it Legend Anthology that, that Marinsus did really well in, I think, with this card legal. Uh, so basically, what the, the lock that you would put up is you'd summon uh, one card on your field, which is the Argonaut with the Battle Lotion up, and this Argonaut would be unaffected because you summon it with Crystal Heart, and then you put up Kaiser Coliseum, so that means your opponent can't summon more than one monster either, and you have a free spell and trap negate with Argonaut as well. Um, so yeah, this card was, or this lock was really nasty, and thankfully it's not available in the Attribute 4. They banned that Floodgate. So Marinsus is another good option. Uh, it's again a link climbing deck. You don't have to worry about Nibiru since it's a light monster. It won't be legal for this event. That's kind of the main crux of this deck. Nibiru really cripples it, but not having to worry about Nibiru means that you're probably going to be pretty strong. The Argonaut in the extra monster zone with Battle Ocean will negate like evenly matched even. And I think if you have this up first, because it's unaffected by all card effects, even if your opponent Dark Rulers, your Argonaut won't be affected by the Dark Ruler. That's crazy. So yeah, this is a really strong option if you have the cards. It does cost a couple of Ultras, um, but the actual core of the deck, when you look at it, without the hand traps, is all just like supers, right? Again, this comes in the... Uh, uh, Salamangrate structure, structure deck and then the extra deck is just two ultra rares so yeah you can finish teching this out however you want if you don't want to play all those hand traps or play whatever hand traps you have but Marinsus is, is another decent budget option that's pretty powerful as well and then the final option I'll go over just because I know most of the people on my channel or watch that watch these Yu-Gi-Oh videos or Master Duel videos uh, are full on Reese players Mpin is banned for this event but the, the rest of the deck is uh, full power um, the extra deck obviously doesn't matter. You just fish it out, finish it out with whatever you want. You just don't have access to Zeus now. Um, but instead of Empin, if you want to just, if you already have Flowanderies built, um, I would say probably go with three Dreaming Town since you can't search it now. I don't know how well this would work. Um, and you can maybe try Snowl. Remember, Flowanderies, yes, while we don't have Empin, remember, there's a lot of other decks that are super nerfed as well, right? Like other very powerful decks don't have access to there maybe key boss monsters like Salamangri doesn't have access code you know tier elements is non-existent in this in this event so maybe not playing empin might be valuable um you know just having the birds in rotation bringing out snowl book of mooning everything during your opponent's turn or technically it's book of eclipse eclipsing everything during your opponent's turn might be strong enough right because we know how powerful the flow under these spells and traps are um this might be an option for you if you are willing to invest a couple of ultra rare points in the snowl and uh, I've always been a fan of Snowl. Unfortunately, it's not that good. I actually played in real life in my sideboard. But um, yeah, in, in this game, because it's a best of one, it's not the most useful, uh, but uh, it's another option to try. So let me know in the comment section below what you are going to try. Uh, just before I wrap up this video, I guess I will quickly take a look at the loner decks that are available. So we got a Vernisilf Earth deck. Three Pranker Tops, that's kind of interesting. Black Luster Soldier, I love this card, it's a cool card. You got Imperms, Ragekis, Called Buys, uh, Pot of Extravagance, interesting. So some nice cards in there. You got an Infernoid deck, uh, interesting looking extra deck as well. Okay, no, I have no idea how to play that. And you've got some Charmer deck here, it looks like. Uh, again, no idea how to play this properly, but uh, I guess this is another option. Traditionally, these loner decks haven't been very good, uh, so I would probably opt to just build your own deck. Salamangrate is, like I said, a great budget option if you don't have it already, or try something new. But like I said, let me know in the comment section below what you're going to try to build. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful in getting you set up for Attribute 4, and best of luck in the event. Quantum is out.